Ready? Good morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are at the Holy Land Christina Cosmetics today, and we are going to cover two lines, which is Biofito and Vitalize. So um, just first, again, for those who are here and for those who are on the other side, my name is Irina. If you have any questions, please um, comment or uh, leave them below. We'll try to answer. If you guys have any questions related to this subject today, uh, we'll talk about um, just, you know, during the session. If you have any questions related to a little bit different or not related subjects, we'll just leave them for, for the end of the session, okay? Now, are you all experienced with biofeto? Do you have any feedbacks, any thoughts, any concerns about bio biofeto generally? Sure. Um, me personally, I'm using just the uh, herbal pill. Herbal pill only. Which uh, one? And mild cleanser. Okay. So, what? Which uh, herbal pill do you use? The, the stronger one. The stronger the one. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you find it? How do people find it in terms of sensations? All, and... all the clients. Uh, first of all, uh, like I have to prepare them. That it's gonna tingle. That it's gonna burn a little bit. Like it's pretty much strong uh, treatment. So, uh, they aware that it's a little uncomfortable yep and then uh, afterwards uh, they are so happy because the texture of the skin uh, they they saying that uh, the pores are like breathing yeah. something like that it's very decongesting very unclogging very sort of purify and clarify and treatment on itself yeah. now do you usually recommend also to use this peel at home the herbal complex do you recommend it for home use as well not really I thought it's just so yeah, we have at the Biofito, mm -hmm. we are lucky to have also the um, herbal complex, which is equivalent in terms of ingredients to uh, peel itself. It's just a milder version. Okay, it's even a little bit milder than a peel than, than a peel, uh, uh, which is not fought about the first sort of degree of strength. Mm -hmm. So it's even milder, and it's beautiful for home use. So herbal if complex. a herbal complex, yes. So if you have someone who is um, struggling to keep their skin um, uh, sort of, um, there's no congestions, who has uh, tendency to have oilier skin with a little bit of more blackheads, a little bit more inflammations, a little bit more imbalance where they have to regulate their sebum secretions, this will be a really great one. Once a week? Uh, well. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't do it more than once a week or even once in the 10 days. And they do it exactly as they would do it in a clinic. They just apply it on a clean skin, avoiding eye area, just around the face for five, ten, seven minutes, and that's it, and just wash it off. And of course, on that night, probably I wouldn't recommend to use very active ingredients like vitamin A or vitamin C, just to put something hydrating, like it can be a fire repair gel, or it can be just a vitalizer, it can be just Zatar cream, it will be fine. Yes, but for home use, it's a perfect for people who want to maintain their uh, skin conditions and, you know, take it to the next level and help with congestions, help with the blackheads, help with dullness. Uh, it can provide some sort of exfoliation, but in a very mild level. So just you know, to help to shed old skin and to leave this space for newer skin cells to come up on the surface. Okay? If they so. ask uh, to use the exfoliation before, if they um, No, I think if you just, if you use, if you properly wash your face twice with the mild cleanser or any other cleanser which has a little bit of acidic compound, it will be nice. I wouldn't do exfoliation and this one. Mm -hmm together no really no need to one more all the year round they can use this if they use if they use it i mean uh, the herbal the, the complex as, as a pill for home use or uh, like even uh, when he when i use in the salon like can i it's safe well, to do it in the summer just SPF. absolutely yes again you just do it in the night time you wouldn't do it just before they go somewhere you wouldn't do it before they go i mean the clients wouldn't do it before they go on to vacation. They can't just do it a week before, a week after. Mm -hmm. Still, it's very subtle. It does make those sensations of stinging and sort of uh, burning, but it's not because of the high acidic compound. It just has all those uh, ingredients which are like uh, menthol and capsicum and um, um, the, the cinnamon and the anise. Mm -hmm. 
they all bring in your stimulate your skin to be stimulated with your blood my, uh, microcirculation of your blood they actually activate all your skin cells activity they can have this they do have this heating effect on the skin but at the same time they also have this cooling effect later on so we do have to activate your skin cells actions in order to bring uh to make better a uh, detoxifying process to bring more hydration to let those congested dead cells to come off the skin to widen your capillaries just a little bit enough to make sure the the, the bad stuff which got stuck and just you know flushed out and then to calm down to bring more comfort to the skin so that's about it the only acidic compound of this treatment is really a salicylic acid and it's not in a huge amount it's just enough to get this keratolytic action on the skin and just enough to get this anti-inflammatory action on the skin that's it that's about it what about using not this one the other one the, on the opposite uh, skin uh, you mean like rosacea, red yeah. inflamed skin? Again, if you talk about someone who is uh, inflamed, like really inflamed, active rosacea, I wouldn't. I would first bring those skin conditions to, you know, some optimum, to some stable, more hydrated. Mm -hmm. um, I'll, ha I'll have a look. I'll have a look at the break. Okay. Yes. But um, if there is someone, again, uh, someone who has it like constantly, just the red skin because it's been dehydrated, over exfoliated, uh, impaired, and the capillaries, you know, just went too close to the surface and stuff like that. You may do patch test first of all. Okay, you never do the full treatment if you don't know how skin may react. So you start from patch test and you see how your person, your client will react. If there is again, it shouldn't be an issue just because it feels a little bit uh, hot. That's active ingredients. Someone who doesn't want to have good morning, any downtime and any sort of unpleasant sensations, it has to be discussed before treatment. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't do it for someone with a little bit of rosacea, a little bit of red capillaries on the skin before they have some sort of event. You would go for something which is more calm and more exactly yes. So this is more, it can stimulate skin, it can bring some more redness on the skin, but it's all in order to heal, to bring this activity to heal, because sometimes you have to step back just to move forward, okay? Yeah, so that's it. Mild redness, mild coprosis, if it's stable, if it doesn't get affected by whatever food or drinks that just been there for a long time, we can start using it. But again, in a conjunction with the home care, in a conjunction with some active ingredients, so skin will be trained. You cannot only rely on a treatment like this and thinking of, okay, yeah, it's gonna be good or bad. No, it will do something, not necessarily it will show a great result straight away, but it will activate your skin to bring more positive results a little bit later. Yes, that's it. Okay, so when we talk about peels and phyto, we do have two peels and they have pretty much similar ingredients. We have herbal peel A and herbal peel 40B. So they all have the same pretty much active compounds, which are, um, as I said, it's um, vitamin, I'm oh, sorry, more about vitamins. So it's a salicylic acid, of course, and uh, it will be, as I said, anise capsicum, which is a uh, pepper, right? Uh, cinnamon extract, dry, uh, mint, and menthol. All of those, um, the plants, the antioxidants, so they are beneficial for many skin conditions. That's why biofito is presented as a um, very kind of ultimate line for. To, to cover many skin conditions. So it, it can go for dehydrated skin, it can go for slightly inflamed skin, it can go for a little bit oily congested skin, it can go for a uh, dry acne skin as well, not for only oily acne, but also for dry acne mm -hmm. skin. It can go for someone who just wants to um, refresh their skin. It can go anti-aging or even anti-glycation conditions as well. What does that mean? Anti-glycation. So when we come to the revitalizing mask, we'll cover the glycation subject as well, okay? Because it has really cool ingredients for the for to fight glycation um, conditions, which is called glycation. Uh, so and um, have you? So you said that you using mainly the the fortified one. Yes. Uh, no, any positive? You so just. 
I jumped over this. Oh, you jumped over this. Okay, so it can be completely different. I had, a, I mean, I had different feedbacks on uh, A and B. Some people would react like, oh, it's really sting and burning for vitamin, for the number one, for the gentle one. But it depends on the skin. Can, it, well, I would say it more depends on just the personal feeling, how they feel it. It's that it does feel quite intense, but they definitely can tolerate it. And again, uh, if skin is really, really dry, in this case, we just want to, um, you know, to modify it. We just leave it for a little bit less, for, for less longer time. Or we can um, just to um, prepare skin, we can combine biofilter treatment with a white peel. Again, we just can apply white peel before we would go with one of those, okay? Before. Before, before no, yes. Not. No, if skin seems to be a little bit sensitive, so let's say we talk about rosacea, coprosis skin, a little bit of uh, red uh, knots and vesicles and stuff like that. So we can go with that one. It will help to calm and hydrate and um, to prepare skin being more receptive. And then we can go with one of those peels, okay? So we can be a little bit creative. We can play with that. But and the different between the both. Ingredients, first of all. So the intensity of the feelings because this is forte yeah feel forte they're jumping the jumping of the bed it is jumping okay so again that's the, why that's why uh it's um, again it's important to first of all to have skin prepared for those treatments yeah. we wouldn't do it on walk and climb just like this we have some other options for them with the forte it's predominantly on oily thick thickened skin if you have someone whose skin is thin tend to have a dry sort of rosacea, coprosis, inflamed, dehydrated, you wouldn't do that. You would do just, oh, sorry, you wouldn't do forte, you would do just herbal peel number one, okay? Thin, dry, dehydrated, dry acne skin, you only go with number one, with, a, with number one, okay? Number two, which is forte, which is again, the seven ingredients are just fortified, has a little bit more concentrated kind of, you can use on the oily, thick skin, okay? That's a, the that's a difference. And if you want to modify the intensity of either or, still, you can go with the white peel before, it just to soften, to hydrate skin, because one skin is a little bit more hydrated, will be more receptive, and it will be more comfortable with more intense products on it, okay? Now, and talking about the protocol, if you have someone who has really resilient skin, and you want to fortify, intensify the treatment, you can actually, so you've used the herbal peel, either or, forte or normal, and then you can potentially go and do some acidic peel to bring more hydration, to bring more exfoliation, to bring more um, vitamins onto it. So it can be peel number two, for example, from Holy Land, okay? Or it can be, well, I don't know, um, probably would uh, even dare to do even vitamin C peel from uh, Illustrious if I feel like. It will definitely bring more stinging sensations on the skin, yes. So we wouldn't do it just before uh, events or some important things for those clients, but we would know it might bring a lot more um, stinging or burning sensations. It will potentially bring a lot more flakiness. But overall, if you look like long-term results, it can bring a lot more beneficial results in terms of getting skin brighter, uh, cleaner, healthier, sort of, you know, more even skin tone, brighter texture. Yeah, that's it. Questions so far? How often we can do this? I wouldn't do it more often than once a month. Once a month. Yes, you have to recover. Even yeah. when you do uh, the Forte and Plus uh, from Polyland number two peel? Yeah, it's still once a month, every you know four or five weeks. That's okay. Yeah, if you only if you only doing the uh, protocol by just by a phyto, you can potentially go to once every two three weeks, but you don't add any other peels. And you just still have a look. If because sometimes you might benefit from the products of Biofeta, but you don't want to exfoliate. It just doesn't feel like you want to exfoliate with the peel. You would rather instead of doing this peel, you would bring hydrating peel of uh, um, a alpha peel number one, just to hydrate the skin. Because it also gives you some um, exfoliating sort of properties a little bit. Yeah. It depends if you want to modify, if you want to bring more hydration rather than you know exfoliation with this peel. That's the thing. So you just you can substitute. 
yeah, no problem. Yeah. Um, questions? No. Okay. How do we feel I with the? Yeah, you can combine this peel with the polyland product. You can. Yeah. Can combine them. Yeah. You can again. Depends what you want to combine. So let's talk about combination. If you talk about the protocol, the clinic, the tri clinic treatment, if you deep, uh, doing extractions, extraction, uh, peels. Yeah, sometimes I do for ten. Yes. The green peel for ten, and I put polyland solution. Yeah. To soften the so you uh, let's say annex solution. Annex solution. Yes. Do you yeah. find annex solution is more comfortable for you to use? Good morning. Rather than the supple gel for like before extractions. I, I don't know anything about the supple gel. Okay. okay. So okay. let's let's talk I, I about solution. And it's a great result after yeah. the mask. Yeah. It's, it's increased microcirculation. It's a detox detox the skin. This forte. Yeah. Skin, so by easy. what do you do? You just you 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 clean the you cleanse the face, then you go with the toner potentially, mm -hmm. then you do the solution. No, I do the so you apply the peel first, first peel for first. five, seven, ten minutes. Uh when they said they don't feel anymore. Once I it's subsided, yeah. Yes, I explained to them first you don't feel very aggravated, you yeah. feel uh, okay. intense redness and burning, and after it will go down, I remove the peel. Yeah. Okay. Like so seven minutes. Seven minutes. Seven, seven, seven minutes. Yeah. yeah. Seven minutes. Uh, in a way, it can do some softening on the skin as well, and then you apply solution, right? That's what you do. The end of solution. So I'm always, I'm always mixed up solution and lotion. This lotion or solution Anus. going annex, yes, yeah. going to soften the comedy. Yeah. What it is? Solution yeah. or lotion? No, it's a solution, I think so. Solution. I think so. Lotion yeah. is made the aggravate the redness the and alcohol yeah. based and comfort there. It's lotion. We have uh, lotion face lo we have face lotion for home use pretty much and we have solution for professional use only. For professional yeah. solution. Yeah. I put solution it's, yeah. a, it's like oily uh, substance. Yes. It's a little bit yeah. softens the comedy. It does. Not to do yeah. Well, it depends. I mean, um, I probably would, um, you may choose. It's a, they, are, they do have a little bit different ingredients. When, mm -hmm. when we talk about supplement gel, it's more uh, to hydrate it has arnica, mm -hmm. which is great for like you know to, to sort of to make skin even softer. And when you extract, it just um, it feels like skin gets less traumatized. It mm -hmm. has aloe vera, which is also great hydration for skin anyway. Mm -hmm. um, you cover it with the you know with the nile on which is more. Yeah. If you have steams, you may use steams. Although I, I don't like personally, but still you can do that. Um, it has lots of hydrating agents in this. Um, gel plus it has some antioxidants so I, I like the gel just because it gives a little bit more than just to soften the skin mm -hmm. it's anti mm -hmm. antioxidants uh, antibacterial effect on the skin as well mm -hmm. so it's pretty nice so yeah, yeah gel you, you might try and mm -hmm. just again it's still pardon this is, like this is a supplement gel yes it's so it's and you apply it before you apply the peel because what happens and if you do the same as your anox solution, so you first prepare skin for extraction, so for peel, you apply pretty much supplement gel or you apply the anox solution for 5-10 minutes, mm -hmm. right? And then you cover it with an nylon, the mm -hmm. gel, not the solution. And then uh, skin is getting a lot softer. Lots of dead cells sort of coming detached from you know mm -hmm. where they've been stuck on mm -hmm. the pores, pores getting open, and then you can apply your um, herbal peel. Oh, right on top of it? No, you no, no, take no, it off, you after. take it off, yes. Change and then the steps. okay. Yes. Yeah. And then you just and then the um, the peel itself, the herbal peel will help to dissolve even more whatever the dead cells come up on the surface and will be able to the skin will come a lot clearer. Often, this is only what you have to do because often you may have a client who have really dry, dehydrated skin, but they might have lots of comedones or white heads, but they're so deep inside. So at this stage, you probably should not go with extractions. Mm -hmm. You have to wait. You have to probably repeat this procedure once or twice mm -hmm. 
and this will uh, stimulate all those congestions to come up. And then extractions will be done a lot easier. You will traumatize skin a lot less. Some of the black heads or white heads will just be gone any, you know, just by, because skin will be able to work them out. Mm -hmm. So as much, as less trauma as possible. Extractions, it's good, but everything in moderation, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Again, if you have a client who just started to be on a skin journey and they have those conditions, take it gentle. Maybe may do these treatments every three weeks, you know, just to intensify mm -hmm. the process of, you know, to uh, speed up cell turnover, to hydrate skin, to take all those conditions, all those uh, dead cells to the surface, and then it will be a lot less trauma to the skin, okay? Questions? Mild cleanser. We just we went sort of we started from uh, from the middle, so let's go to the uh, beginning to the start. A mild cleanser is a very comfortable cleanser for any skin conditions, for many like for any skin type, pretty much, except for maybe really oily, like you know, really oily, oily acne skin or like really super sensitive, super dehydrated skin. It is it's a good one because it has um, quite a few uh, hydrating ingredients, so it doesn't strip your skin. It doesn't have any of um, degreasing or um, harming your acid mental ingredients. It gives you uh, nice antioxidants and at least your skin actually hydrated. Plus it gives you some um, calming due to some uh, ingredients which are actually helping to strengthen your capillaries, strengthen your um, sort of skin barrier. So definitely twice a day using this one will benefit dehydrated, dry, slightly congested, inflamed skin. Even if the skin show, uh, appears to be a little bit flaky uh, from dehydration or from dryness, this will do because it has um, uh, quite a few hydrating, as I said, ingredients to hydrate your skin, but not to strip the barrier, okay? Um, what is your uh, experience? What is your feedback from this cleanser area? Um. Me personally, I didn't use it on myself, but the clients on who I'm using it, they like the smell, the texture. Uh, sometimes I do a little test uh, and wait uh, till it absorbs, and I'm asking if it's, uh, the skin feels tight. Well, usually not. No. Usually no. it's like a it's perfect. very it's very hydrating. Mm -hmm. It has PCA. It has. Um, Urea, it has um, butylene glycol, which are really hydrating. Which is? Well, again, PCA. It has uh, butylene glycol. It has, um, well, just, we can just pick it up. Um, citric acid, which is also hydrating and a little bit exfoliating as well. So potentially, again, they're not, de they're not stripping your skin. They are quite hydrating. Um, yeah. Just try, have a try. A toner. Let's talk about uh, What are your thoughts about toners, generally? Yeah. Refreshing toner from Biofito also will be great for dry, dehydrated, flaky, Inflamed skin, not so much for inflamed like acneic skin, but more from dehydration or um, if you look at, um, well, I can't tell exactly a cuprosis or, you know, rosacea, but let's say skin which is always dry from dehydration, just um, red from dehydration as well, red from um, losing this moisture, this will be a great solution just, you know, to start to de rehydrating your skin again. You can use it once or twice a day, up to you, just after you cleanse your skin. It has potentially also nice hydrating ingredients. It has some antioxidants. Uh, and the benefit of those um, compounds and this toner, actually, they do go into your skin and they do work on your skin cells. So if you look, um, uh, if you look into the um, ingredients, they actually have uh, one of my favorites, they have a complex of polysaccharides, which are really great for hydration, and they're also helping to bring delivered ingredients into deeper layers. So they have arabella galactan complex, that's two monosaccharides, which are making polysaccharides, and this is great for hydration. Absolutely fantastic. It helps to deliver ingredients into deeper level of the skin and to enhance your skin cells with really good stuff like 
um, they have a little bit of uh, amino acids in here as well to hydrate and to heal. We have some PCA for hydration. We have a beautiful um, hydrolyzed yeast protein, which helps to um, bind moisture and make your skin even more hydrated. Plus, as a byproduct of yeast protein, it gives us beta glucan, which is really healing for inflammations. Beautiful. I'll give you this, so you may just, or just, yeah, go onto your uh, palms and try to, you know, just see how it feels on this, on the dry uh, back, uh, back side of your hands. Feeling nice? Mm -hmm. It's not sticky, it's quite calming, no, no it's really a uh, nice absorption, and it's quite calming as well, yeah? Mm -hmm. I just for a second hi I, I think it's my first time seeing you yes, yes. Yeah. my name is Irina and yours Pariba. Pariba, nice to meet you nice to meet and you. welcome okay so next we have been talking a little bit about sapling gel and again sapling gel I uh, if it, we, we can just follow strictly with protocol of BioFit and use this one and I found it really great for extractions and just for softening skin. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of doing extractions. So I think just again, skin over time can make it itself. Sometimes we have to extract, sometimes we just have to leave it mm -hmm. and skin will push it out. So if you feel like they are really deep ones and skin is really dry and uh, holds all this bad stuff deep inside, do it like this five, 10 minutes, put the sort of a nylon. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. Nylon, is it what? Nylon, yeah, yeah. on it. Is it plastic? Plastic. 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 And then you just, again, you can look and see if you need to do some extractions because some of them can really come up on the surface or you may just go and continue with the peel. And again, up to your choice. It can be a peel, herbal peel number one or thin, dry skin. You may go with the cheese peel before if you feel like you want more hydration and you, more, you, you, you want to bring more sort of, you know, um, this action of keratolytic but with no irritating or with no stinging uncomfortable feelings which a pill can herbal pill can do and then you can proceed with herbal pill or you can exclude it if you feel like this okay you can just do the whole biofitter but you don't have to do this if you feel your client will benefit just for lactic pill and from hololent pill either or it's okay but to break the rules sometimes the rules like yeah. suggesting to do fuel soaking absolutely white peel and gel and white peel is a white peel again is subjective. You yes, may or you may yes, not. Yes. To wish but to do this. first, plastic first, and after the green peel. Yes. Oh, after or before? After. Well, I did. Uh, I did before. Yes. Yeah. Well, first of all, this is what protocol suggests. Basically, if you look, <laughs> this is step number four, uh -huh. and the peel and the gel is number three. It's not because, it's not because I'm being genius. Well, I am. Hopefully, uh -huh. I'm just joking. Yes. <laughs> But this is just sure. what protocol says, and it's what I like about Priscilla is just that if you're confused or if you're not sure steps, it just tells you what to do. So this is step number three. three. But uh -huh. thinking three. logically, you do want to make your skin to be prepared for next action, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So thinking of um, thinking of uh, a compounds of biofito, you look at biofito and you look at the ingredients. It has a little bit of salicylic acid, just enough. Mm -hmm. To keep it safe, to have you uh, to give you these anti-inflammatory uh, actions on your skin, to give this keratolytic uh, process on the skin, a dead cell skin, but it's also um, again safe enough to go on many skin conditions, even if it's irritations or dryness or dehydration or a little bit of a uh, kind of rosacea kind of skin, mm -hmm. not super inflamed, but you know tendency to rosacea. So that's nice balance. But basically, if you put it on unprepared skin, it will just remain on the surface because the only ingredient which is in there, the salicylic acid, yes, it's great, but other, the other ingredients, they still have to be 
uh, having this nice open skin to go and to work on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's and again, you may choose to work with ANF solution mm -hmm. or you may choose to work with a gel. Yeah. But then skin will be a lot more receptive and you'll have a lot better results if you want to do the extraction. So if you just, you know, want to the whole sort of refresher on the skin tone. Okay, so that's it. And again, um, lots of hydration with this one just because we have this aloe vera gel and aloe vera gel is just for so many years been used in cosmetic industry just as a hydrator and a great, you know, to be um, um, not penetrated but make skin a lot more supple. Good morning, how are you? Good morning. Right, so any questions so far about supple gel or herbal forte or herbal peel or how we combine? No? No, okay. okay, we're talking about biofilter this morning, okay, and we'll go to vitalize after. Right, so what we have next, next we have a beautiful corrector, and corrector we use as a spot treatment, right? It's a step uh, 4C, I would say so. So after we finished uh, with the peel and we take, we, we've taken this off and we finished with extractions, we might have some um, profound, more profound spots, um, you know, pimples or blind pimples or like big sores. We're going to talk about blind pimples in a second. So we're going to use corrector, which is a little bit more fortified with salicylic acid to, you know, to uh, uh, bring even more anti-inflammatory effect on those pimples. So we're going to use it just spot treatment. What's the blind pimple? Who want to talk about blind pimple? Really, really swollen one under really deep, deep inside. Yeah, they just Persistent. don't have, yes, Persistent. kinda, kinda, well, kinda. So, we just what we want to do, we want to bring them on the surface. We yeah. can't really extract them, not recommend. <laughs> I've done when I was young and I ended up with a horrible scar on my face. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it was long before I started all this stuff. So, uh, we're going to use this spot treatment in a treatment, and we're going to recommend spot treatment uh, uh, for home care. Yes. If you don't have a um, corrector for a home use, we just can go with spot treatment of any other line of Holy Land or Christina. We can use uh, Comodex <laughs> spot treatment or we can use the um, Anox or double action. Depends on skin conditions. Okay. Now, I probably wouldn't do this on a dry acne skin. It's a little bit different, but oily, yes. But oily acne, yes. Okay. So we also have to differentiate, which is when we look at the dry acne skin or we look at the um, oily acne skin. We can irritate the skin more on yeah. the dry acne. Completely true. Yeah. Questions so far? Are they good, guys? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Now, massaging cream, comforting massage cream. Um, how do we, when do we use this? So it's step number five, potentially. Um, it's great for dry, dehydrated, slightly inflamed skin, which needs to be rehydrated. I wouldn't use it on really oily acneic skin because it has sheer butter and can be a little bit not friendly to those people whose pores get in really congested or clogged. But I definitely would probably go and give it to dry acne skin as a massage, as a comforting, rehydrating massage treatment. Um, I would probably do it on, um, Again, many skin conditions except for oily acne skin or really oily, easily congested skin. If you have someone like this, we probably would substitute massage cream with kukui oil, okay, or with ginseng carrot oil from Holy Land. It's a little bit, it's, it's a lot more friendly to oily, really oily, oily skin with oil flows, okay. Uh, otherwise, it's really great for neck and shoulders massage and for everything. Yeah. How do you feel about that? You want to try? Yeah. Cool. I'll try it too. It feels nice. And <laughs> Yeah, so have um, just for an, another couple of things about this massaging cream, really great for uh, many conditions, dry, flaky, dehydrated, uh, irritated skin, 
It has a beautiful combination of vitamin B, two of them, vitamin B9 and vitamin B12. Both are strongly focused on skill cells regeneration and, reprodu and reproductive properties of cells. So they're really looking into support the immune system and um, supporting your skin cells regeneration. Okay? So for dry, flaky skin, absolutely fantastic. Um, right. Any questions? Are they good? Need, need, need a little bit more oil. You, so, okay. Now, so if you it. have, you may, and it's, uh, it's like a big sort of area for you being creative. If skin is really dry and really like a deep dermal dehydration, you may add a Juvilast Nutri Drops to this one, a couple of drops to this massage, or you may use uh, Renew Magic Drops. You will just fortify this cream with additional vitamins, which is great. It will be vitamin E, vitamin A. Yeah, so it's really dry, flaky, dehydrated skin. Uh, if, again, if it's really oily skin, you just Leave it on and so leave it off, take it off, and you'll go with the kukui oil or ginseng carrot oil from Holland. Mm -hmm. Is it a good idea that you don't know, remember multivitamin serum that um, you were telling us at this time? Well, no, I probably would go with more oil cons oil content okay. of magic drops or um, so it's a renew magic drops or jewelas drops, nutri drops, yes to give more essential fatty lipids, to give more ceramides, to give more this sort of, you know, lipidic support, support for lipidic compound of skin barrier. Yeah, okay. this one, okay? So that's the one to shape, right? So right now we are adding more lipids on a dry, so dry flaky, flaky. Yes. skin. Right? Now, if we, let's say it's really summertime and we have skin which is it has good lipids, like Ella has good lipids on her skin, but she's really dehydrated. Then we can be a little bit creative. We can do first, we can take, for example, Vitalize Hydrating Booster for massage. And we can do this. We can massage the skin because it's just purely hyaluronic acid. And then, and then we can go with, we can use this massage or we can use any other massage, mm -hmm. which has, uh, sort of, uh, we can use any other cream or serum for massaging your skin, which has lots of hyaluronic acid and some lipids as well. But in her case, we'll need also to give more hydration. Yeah, so that's it. That's it. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt you. Which one did you say it has pure hyaluronic acid? Which Vitalize, we'll talk a little bit later. Okay. Yeah. Vitalize booster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Yeah, questions so far? No, clear, yeah. all right. Now, here we come to, uh, so after we've done the uh, massage, the next step is probably masks. And this, we have four masks to choose, depends on skin conditions. And remember, skin of one client can be completely different, uh, depends on the areas. I may have super oily T-zone and I may have super dry, irritated sides. In this case, we'll just go with a duo mask. We'll use two masks. We'll use Saber Jaster mask on my T-zone and we'll have, let's say, a revitalizing or a Zatar mask on my sides, okay? So what's the difference between all of those four masks? Let's have a, let's have a, a Zatar, Saber Jaster, revitalizing, and mm, what else we had? anti mask, right. Any experience uh, from your side with those masks? Um, not the mask, but the skin condition, a lot of experience, a combination skin. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, oh, talking, I'm, talking, I'm, talking, I'm talking about masks specifically. I, put, I combine them. You bind? Oh, combine. combine them. Yeah. You mean you combine, you cocktail them? Yes. Not which, all of them. But which I ones? I pulled uh, the Sema Justin mask. Yes. This is uh, the and that one. Yeah, it has really nice and um, Sonia, just go around. It has really nice and calming effect, and you probably use it mainly on sort of a combined oily skin, it's oily no, dehydrated. No, no, no it's not inflammation. I just apply. Yeah, and, uh, it doesn't make the 
when you remove you to have the suppleness and yeah. the calmness yes. and they feel very comfortable. Yeah. Zatar mask. Zatar, yeah. Okay. So who likes zatar in food? Yeah, Michal. Who else? Is Zatar. It it's herbs. It's um like I don't know if it's I, I would call it spices. It's, it's more yeah, wild organo. Oh, it's, it's oregano, right. it's thyme, it's mayoran. Oh, yeah, so oh, oh, it's really nice when I you want to. It's, really nice. it's good for your health generally. Uh -huh. So if you have, let's say, if you take, uh, you may bake your tomatoes with olive oil and put it on. Mm -hmm. and it's really delicious and it's really healthy. It's like sort of very much Mediterranean kind of mm -hmm. yeah. snack food, whatever. Why bake it tomatoes? Uh, tomatoes are great, but many people can be a little bit sensitive to this acid. But not only this. Basically, uh, baked tomatoes are a lot healthier for our skin because once they bake it, they give us a lot more lycopenes, which are a kind of carotenoids to protect your skin from UV, to make your skin a lot more enhanced with antioxidants like, like, mm -hmm. you know, from food, let's say much. So oral, um, sorry, the baked tomatoes are great. And yeah, the acid zatar. also boosts the lower, so the acid. Yeah, yeah, kind of acid. Really now, basically, if you look just at the at the zatar as a skin uh, as a skin uh, ingredient, they do have very strong antioxidant uh, potential, antioxidant potentials. But if they would be just the platinum skin as they are, they would be quite irritating for the skin. So that's why they have additional compounds in here they have olive oils in those masks they have vitamin e so they deliver it in the, into our skin in a very gentle and caring way and just in order to bring this antioxidant strength but not to irritate the skin okay so what i'm trying to say just don't go to your kitchen and don't try to apply the oregano or thyme or whatever just on the skin it won't be a good idea yeah so we just look at that, yeah. Oh no, just well, no, just because uh, whatever we take on our we apply on our skin, it's been through a sophisticated technological process to clear and clarify all those plants from things we don't want to be on our faces, right? Yeah. Uh, questions so far. So we would use sebo jaster mask on skin, which again needs to be um, regulated with sebum flow, with sebum of this uh, oil uh, secretions, uh, which has still some inflamed lesions because it has sulfur to calm and to um, heal. Uh, it has kaolin to take the excess oil off the, off the surface as well. Um, I wouldn't apply it on sensitive skin because it has some ingredients which can be irritating, okay? Those ingredients can be nice as a astringent for uh, oily, resilient skin. Sensitive, dry skin, no, okay? Even if it feels like, oh, it still has a little bit of acne, have a look if it's a dry, irritated acne. And in this case, we'll go with Zatar mask because Zatar mask will be, even with having those active ingredients, will be a lot more caring. It has retinol in it, so in this case we want to go with retinol. We'll take it longer, but we'll take it a lot more gently, and it will be a right healing effect on the skin. So, sebo, sebo adjuster just for oily skin, not sensitive one. Mm -hmm. Zatar mask will be a great um, antioxidant booster and calming and hydrating uh, with um, you know, dryness, dehydration, some thin dry acne it will be also great okay due to those compounds olive oil vitamin e the zatar cocktail or mix as we can call it um it has also um some um chlorophyll into this mask which is great as antibacterial and also bringing a lot more um, not brightness it makes your skin tone a lot more even Due to those pigments, so it helps to balance redness. It's great. Okay. Questions? A friend even told me that they had experience with it, you know, the food overnight. Very, very thin layer. Thin layer. On acne. Lesions. Lesions after? Yeah. 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 They put it overnight. They put it like a little bit intense uh, on the to the thin. Yeah. Massage it. Massage it. Yeah. You mean Zatar mask? Yeah, and I would, I would, I would put it, I would put it down to retinol, 
in it because what we have written also, I cannot tell you if this mask is safe for pregnant women or not, just because it has a very nice formulation of vitamin A in this mask. So it has vitamin A, which is called retinol um, hydroxypinocolon retinoate. Okay, so it's a relatively new formulation of vitamin A. Uh, the strength of this one is quite uh, high. It's equal to, uh, well, not retinoic acid, but it's really close to retinoic acid because it just binds directly to receptors of vitamin A onto the skin cells. But it doesn't irritate our skin as retinoic acid would do. So it's safe to use even on sensitized or sensitive skin, it will give you great healing effect. So I would probably put this, you know, benefits of healing down to vitamin A specifically. Yeah. Not because I'm obsessed with vitamin A, but because I that's that's how it works actually. So yeah. Don't overuse it though. You may recommend your client to put it on acne lesion, you know, just but I probably would do every second night. Okay. And I wouldn't cover big areas. Just you know, little tiny ones. Okay. So like a spot a spot yeah. A spot, yeah. yeah and again you have to have a look if it's a really deep blind sore pimple and it's an oily skin i probably have to go with some compounds like a sulfur salicylic acid comfort you know just to to, yeah, to stimulate to bring it on the surface if it's a really dry acne skin then we can then, then we'll go with this one it's, yeah, yeah it's yeah zatar mask okay right zatar mask let's just go around zatar mask Sorry. Yeah, what is what this one? This was Sibajaster mask. Sibum. Oh, this yeah. one, this one, yeah. the oily skin and the how you have the um, wipes. Okay. Right. Yeah. Nice. Oh right. yeah, it is quite yeah. Um, it's it, it has the and then we have a, another beautiful uh anti what do we have it in here? Anti rouge mask. Sib adjuster. We might not have it in here again. Oh no, we do have sorry. My bad, sorry. So those are for home use. Yeah, let's go and have a look. Anti rouge mask. So let's talk about the uh, those who have diffused redness on their skin, inflamed capillaries, uh redness because of the just dehydration uh, and um, thinning epidermis, right? So we talk about the anti rougeure mask. Anti I don't know how to pronounce it, right? Anti rougeure. So what's uh, beautiful about this one? We have uh, again cowling to take off the uh, dead cells. It's not just you know, it's, um, it can be well. We would say kaolin is it good for sensitive red skin because it can be dry. No, it's not as dry as other clays. It's actually really nice and gentle. It only takes what it needs to take. It doesn't take what it doesn't need. It just it's very it has very selective approach to uh, oils and stuff like that. It has propolis as well, which is absolutely healing and giving lots of um, a soothing effect on the skin. It has also the chlorophyll to balance redness to give more uh, brightness and evenness to the skin tone. Um, yep. No, I'm sorry, I'm just watching how you look on the... Oh, have you stopped now? No, 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 no. Okay, I'm just... hi guys. Just in case, hi guys. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not neglecting you. Uh, <laughs> talking about uh, fermented wine, uh, sorry, <laughs> fermented um, grape juice it has great seed oil which is absolutely fantastic except for it has it gives us vitamin e which is absolutely great antioxidant and soothing and calming and hydrating it also gives us a little bit of resveratrol which is fantastic potent antioxidant in our, for our skin and we need those uh, little guardians just to protect our skin from free radicals because we have them so many all the time we don't live in ideal conditions we have to have these protections and it's great to have one um so another uh, beneficial um, side of this mask it's actually helping to um uh, normalize and circulate your fluids and intracellular and intracellular fluids and the skin layers so 
It helps to reduce sort of puffiness and some swellings on the skin to reduce inflammation. So if we happen to have puffy face because we drank so much wine last night, it doesn't help. But if skin is a little bit inflamed due to some uh, sort of um, inflammation going on, you know, like from dehydration, from you know just heat, um, maybe just you know some irritation, it can calm down and to balance it a little bit. Okay, so it's really great. Again, it's back to you, Cooper Moses and Red Client. Uh, and we also have revitalizing mask, and we have. So we had a question about glycation. Let's talk about glycation. Do we have many clients with glycation? What is glycation? I'm very superficial about it. The glycation is a process uh, which destroys something uh, with the protein and the sugar. Sugar. Yes. Yes. Protein yeah. and sugar. Yeah. It's destroyed the. Uh, so protein in the I, 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 all, I also collagen. cannot go like, and I wouldn't probably go into scientific language of this. Uh -huh. If you just put it in a simple way, it's when a col a, the proteins of collagen and elastin are destroyed by sugar. sugar. And not just collagens and elastins, but also capillaries getting damaged by this sugar. So why does it happen? Mainly from uh, like excessive sugar consumption. Yeah, it's a diet. It's a purely food thing. So having too much sugar, it just can bring us to those conditions. Some people would say, oh, I don't consume sugar. I don't eat sugar. I don't eat any refined sugar. I still have it. And if, I just, if we investigate things a little bit further, we can see that actually those people still have lots of sugar on their diet or they probably drink too much alcohol because it's also the same detrimental effect on the skin. Mm -hmm. Where does it happen most of all? We can see it like it's uh, it, it comes to um, a, the structure of collagen fibers become cross-linking and it looks like a crisscross sort of lines, fine deep lines, mainly just around the eyes and around the like perioral, periorbital areas, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, what happens? Uh, we have different types of collagen we have good collagen, we have bad collagen. So instead of having a good collagen, we start to have a bad collagen in these areas. And that's actually giving us this uh, really wrinkly, uh, crisscross, like, like uh, uh, scarred sort of they, uh, texture. When you touch the skin, it's, uh, it's just like a bumpy and yeah, the texture is not, it doesn't have elasticity. No, just like because that. it's destroyed. destroyed. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. fantastic. So what do we need to do in this case? We want to uh, replace this damaged collagen. We want to bring as much of uh, as much as we can of new or healthier collagen. And a revitalizing mask has actually uh, a beautiful ingredient, which is a combination of glycerin and the um, extract barks of tree, which we in Russian we call mimosa. In English, it calls it's in, in Latin it's called mimosa as well. Or we can call it, uh, it's just a long name, I don't know, where is that? It's um, a drink. Yeah. Yeah. It is a drink. Uh, so th that's the complex, yes, Prodesia extra fish, but it's actually the combination of glycer glycerin for hydration and to deliver those extracts in the deeper levels. So what does it do? It helps to remove the damaged collagen out of the tissues mm -hmm. and to uh, prevent any further damage of glycation on skin mm -hmm. fibers, on fibers of collagen. As a mask, it's great. So potentially you have to intensify your treatment with active ingredients such as retinol to replace damaged skin cells, right? With vitamin C to bring more collagen production, to bring more antioxidant uh, protection, to bring more hydration. You have to bring a lot more peptides. Yes, but this treatment as a clinical treatment and as a home one can be completely great. And this actually, you can use for severe cases, you can use twice a week actually at home. So luckily we do have it um, for home use. Yeah, I'll just pass it. Location, I have seen this condition in mature skin more. Uh, yeah, right. oh yeah, completely, yeah. Mature skin, my mother-in-law has. Yeah, so she can benefit. And again, let's say if she has it just local, like let's say she might have like it just this? on her like perioral area or perioral, you may just go and 
don't have to use pliers on the whole face, just go and do it, you know, you don't have it. Yeah, that's the thing. So, Revitalizing mask, yes. In addition to the uh, this Prodigia complex, it has also uh, algae extracts, which are super powerful antioxidants. It has, again, the combination of vitamin B9 and vitamin B12 to um, restore and support the, the, the reproductive functions of the skin cells. Um, what else? Um, ceramides to restore barrier function, which is great. So you may combine it if you have someone like with a red flaky skin, you can actually go with the anti ozone mask first, and then you can apply this one on top, like, well, you take this one mask off, and then you apply the other one on top of it, okay? If you feel that like you have a time, you may, yeah. Not necessarily, you may just uh, advise your client to enhance their skin treatments at home, and using this mask, let's say, once a week to just keep up on a healthier level, okay? The whole idea of to um, um, enhance their skin treatment uh, at home, just you know, to keep their skin cells activity on this level where they just keep moving and keep doing things like replacing damaged collagen, shedding off the dead cells, to get rid of this poisonous content of dead cells, bringing on a surface like you know, the, the newer, healthier skin cells. Well, I just want to reiterate one thing. When I talk about um, how we bring on new skin cells on the surface, it's still dead cells, but they still look better than those dead ones which are on the surface already. Okay, that's what I mean. Because we still have like the layer of corneal sites, but we want to keep it hydrated, subtle, and um, protected, so to prevent any further damages on our skin deep inside. Is it clear? Okay. Questions? So for my natural clients. With a kind of like a, I would say normal skin type, but a little bit dry. Which one do you recommend? What exactly? You mean the treatment, the product? No, it's just a mask. Oh, just a mask. If I want to choose one of this, well, I guess the last one. Will... I probably would again. Yeah, um, would... Depends if uh, are they if they are, are they on skincare. They having a good skin. They have a good home regimen at home. They're using active ingredients, they want to, no, the only come for treatments. So no, in this case, I would just first educate them about <laughs> how important it is to be on the home care. Because if you do treatments even, even once a week, it's still, you know, only maybe 30, 40% of success. And then probably, again, if the skin is dehydrated or the skin is, uh, you know, uncomfortable, I probably will go with a Zatar mask. Yeah, first, okay. And that probably would add the um, revitalizing mask, yeah. But again, I would look at it more complex and just only having them for treatments, it doesn't really... I mean, I can do lots of things in the cleaning and not just biofita, I can be a lot more creative than that. Um, but if they don't look after their skin at home, that's not much to do, okay, yeah. Questions? No? Okay. So what else we have left? We have a two different um, sunblocks. Now the sunblocks of BioFeta, they cover our, they, they protect our skin from UVA and UVB both, okay? So they have both chemical and physical reflectors. One of them is tinted, one of them is just non-tinted, it depends on which one, which, which one clients would prefer, but they do cover UVF, UV, UVA, UVB, okay? If you look into ingredients, we have we have titanium for covering UVA, and we have the triazine, triazan, I don't know how to pronounce this one right, for you for UVB. Um, potentially, it can be just great for any skin type or any skin conditions. So good job, very good. Are you guys drinking? Elia? Okay, we'll have we'll have, we'll have a break in, in a couple of minutes. So, um, ultimate defense day cream. What I like about the uh, contents of those cream, actually, they do have both again physical reflectors and chemical reflectors, and they also have antioxidants. Why it's so essential to have antioxidants in the sunscreen? The sunscreens, because if you only have, like, let's say, you might see. SPF 2847, and the people, our clients will think, oh, that's great, I can put it on Monday, and 
just protected till Saturday. No, it's not like this. The higher number of SPF, it just means the more chemical ingredients you have, okay? And I don't want to blackmail about chemical ingredients. They are great when they are balanced. But none of the ingredients, except for zinc, doesn't really give us a full protection, a broad spectrum, okay? Zinc, the only thing which can give us UVA and UVB protection. And even in this case, we have to cover, recover our face every two hours, okay? So it's good to have a combination because some people wouldn't like to apply zinc on their faces because it looks very whitish kind of, you know, and just not comfortable, yeah. So titanium is also giving a little bit of white film, but it's not as strong as a zinc. Titanium, though, it's only for UVA, I think so. So in uh, Ultimate Defense Day Cream uh, of Biofito, we have SPF 20 only, but still, we're going to reapply it every few hours during summertime and at least twice a day during winter time, okay? Or at least once a day and then just use some mineral powder. So uh, we have this uh, titanium to protect our skin from you. Sorry, I confused the titanium for UV beam and we have uh, Trizone for UVB. Uh, the antioxidants in these creams, they are essential again to protect our skin from free radicals, but also they are giving us extra protection because when we have chemical reflectors on our skin, in a while, absorbing UV, they do penetrate our skin a little bit deeper than we want to and they start breaking down. And that's where we have our antioxidants to neutralize the detrimental activity of those free radicals, okay? Not all samples have antioxidants, so we always have to have a look at the back and what kind of ingredients we have in there. So again, if you have something which is like SPF 100 and we read the label and just only chemical, 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 chemical ingredients, long term, it won't be good for our skin, okay? Questions? Okay, just to repeat about herbal complex for those ladies who just joined us a little bit later. Herbal complex is another great product for home use for your clients. It's it's just a milder version of a herbal peel to use once a week, once in a 10 days. I wouldn't overuse it. I wouldn't recommend to use it more often than that. If you have some occasional pimples, it's just for, um, you know, you go with a corrector or for spot treatment. This one just for once in a seven, 10 days seven, ten day, days to maintain a uh, healthier, smoother, more radiant appearance, okay? Questions? No? Did we cover our body? Serums, okay, no. yeah. Let's talk about serums. So, uh, uh, the Allure Serum we use in the treatment as a step number, I don't know, 128 seven. or something. Yeah, Allure seven. 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 Yeah, step number seven, okay. So, um, and this is to, after you've done peel and extractions, if you had to, and you've done massage. So, and you've done a mask. Um, I would, so what I would do probably, you've removed the mask and you make sure, you make sure the skin is really clean to go with the serum, okay? You can go the other way around as well. You can apply serum and then you can go with the mask if you feel like. So it's a little bit of more freedom. Mm -hmm. I would do probably that way as well, just to make sure that serum is taking, is having such a tiny molecular structure, just going a lot deeper and is transporting all your active ingredients from your masks even a little bit better. So you can break the rule this in, the, in this case as well. And you go with the serum first, then you go with the mask. Okay, mm -hmm. you can do. I probably would rather do this. Just because when you do treatment and you just on your thoughts, you might not give much attention to how skin feels or looks after mask and apply serum, whereas you have all those little bit of oils and fats and fatty acids remaining on the skin, which can make the penetration of serum is a little bit more difficult. Okay, so I would probably go with a serum first and then mask, mm -hmm. massage, take the mask off. And then you go with the cream and SPF if you need to, and that's mm -hmm. it. So Allure Serum, it's a full of um, really good, delicious things for the skin. It has two forms of vitamin C, ascorbic acid and ascorbyl um, phosphate, sodium ascorbyl phosphate, yes. One is uh, a water-soluble, which can give a little bit of more, maybe just 
single sensation. That one is more stable, so it's absorbing a little bit slower, so it's all gentle for the skin. Uh, it gives us, it still has this um, anti glocation compound, which is the combination of glycerin and extracts from mimosa tree. I'm not going to use this big word. So, for people who have glycation conditions on their skin, allure serum is alluring serum, sorry, is one which has to be like. I must have in the whole regimen, okay? Uh, starting from once a day and in a couple of weeks to bring it into twice a day use. So just let's talk about glycation clients for a second. Uh, it's not the only product they can benefit from or they, they have to use. They have to go a little bit more intense. So they will use the alluring serum. They will use uh, alpha beta retinol or they will use any other previous retinol for nighttime. They will have to use... Um, potent antioxidants for daytime and lots of sun work. And of course, review their diet as well, okay? So back to ingredients of alluring serum. It has hyaluronic acid in forms of sodium hyalur hyaluronate, which is a lot better than just hyaluronic acid. It has tinier molecule structure as well, so the absorption is a lot deeper and better. It goes onto deeper levels of the skin, okay? Uh, and uh, it has also, uh, again, vitamin B and B12 and B9. It has some uh, um, extracts from beer berry for brightening and for antioxidants. So it's a really great, delicious product okay. for skin. Not for acneic skin, not for oily acne, not for dry acne, okay? Dry, irritated, flaky, sensitized dehydrated um even skin with a little bit of congestion it can do not for oily or really dry acne again we'll go with a little bit different compounds for those two okay mm -hmm. for acne we will look more into uh, um, what's the name what's the name a uh, detox serum let's talk about absolute detox serum so it has um uh, it's helping with hydration. Are you there? It's in the home use. For home, yeah, it's for home use. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. do, do we have someone here again? Yeah? No? Which one? Like? Both. Absolute detox. Uh, we have absolute detox and we have. Uh, I don't have serums in here, do I? No, I don't. Do I still speak fast? No? <laughs> I think now we start catching you. <laughs> oh, okay. No, I'm just, yeah, my apologies to, no, I know, no, to no. this audience Perfect. who, uh, I, I know I speak fast sometimes, so I'm just trying to hold myself away. So detox serum is probably a little bit better for, well, it can cover all skin types, but if you if you want something from Biofit on oily acne skin, we'll go with the, um, the um, detox, detox serum, serum yes. Uh, and again, so it has uh, a chlorophyll to give us antioxidant protection to balance this diffuse redness and increased redness on the skin tone. Uh, it's got um, mainly glycation, uh, sorry, glycation, hydration. It has lactic acid, which is beautiful for uh, congestion, for hydration. Okay. 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 So we are to open the detox serum, which is open the alluring. Yeah, that's all. Who wants to buy this last one? The winner. Yeah, okay. So, um, I'm just opening the alluring serum, but we're talking still, we still keep talking about detox serums. Uh, lactic acid uh, has a little bit of caffeine to stimulate blood circulation, which is great for healing. So, skin potentially can go a little bit pinkier, but then it just calms down, okay? Uh, in these cases, I would still say use detox serum every morning with oil inflamed skin, inflamed skin. And night time, try to incorporate um, something with vitamin A. So it <coughs> can be, um, uh, I'll probably go with alpha beta retinol restore anyway. Because we do have creams with BioFit and we have balancing cream and we have a night cream. They are mainly for bringing this hydrolipid um, barrier to better conditions, bring more hydration, bring more antioxidants. 
none of them have really efficient amount of retinols to bring this side of healing, okay? So for home use, we're gonna use balancing cream or zato cream or night, or like the night cream, but they really more for comfort, more for um, hydration, I would say, okay? Uh, yeah, this is alluring serum. You use it in a treatment. Yeah. So balancing cream as well. Again, I probably wouldn't go on a really oily skin. Really oily, thick um, skin with lots of oil flow. We'll go with zapper cream. Balancing oil is more for a uh, like drier side, more flaky side of the skin. Shea butter it has nice ceramides. It has. Um, um, a little bit of um, amino acids to um, bring more protection and hydration. To so it's really a nice one. You can do every second night, and the other nights you can bring more vitamins to vitaminize the skin. Oh, okay, we'll talk about it. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Mm -hmm. No, professional is a bigger one. I have a question. I just brought it up. Is this new? Is this new? Or is it belong no, to no, some no, other? It's not new. Well, yeah. What? 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 Is it? Just, just the product? Yeah. No line. No line. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Questions? So. Allure serum. Yeah. Allure serum. Allure is serum. Alluring serum is, you said it is for um, um, not oily or dry it's acne. for dry, dry acne. Yeah. yeah. It's for dry acne glycation mm -hmm. and uh, it brightens um, the dull, the, yeah. the luster. Yeah. And we can use this under the mask. Yeah. When, we are doing when, it, when our skin is all clear yeah. and the pores are open right. and we know yeah. that the product can really yeah. go in deeper yeah. into yeah. the skin. Well, protocol suggests you will do it after mass. Mm -hmm. But sometimes uh, I do it before I will mass. do before, yeah. Me too. yeah. Because you also, again, time. with the mask, you might feel that you want to do some, let's say if you've done, uh, I don't know, uh, you feel like you want to do more algae mask rather than one of those masks. So definitely do the serum first and you know, just apply your mask. But even if you just use one of those masks, I feel that you might benefit more than you apply serum first. It will just, you know, help to go for that. Unless you want to go by protocol and you've applied your mask first, but then when you're taking it off, make sure you've taken mask off in a very thorough way so nothing has been left on the skin. So the serum will absorb all the background. That's it. But what about if you put it before the, the mask? Yeah, and then when you take off the mask, it's not. Well, no, you you apply you you apply it on on the face and then just absorb it to the skin. All the ingredients from alluring serum they just really they, they go really you know fast into the skin. Yeah, so that's the, the whole purpose of serum is just to enhance your uh, deeper layers of the skin and to work on a deeper level. Yeah, okay. Serum is always, I believe, it should be the first thing after we cleanse the skin in the morning. Serums is the first yeah, thing. Yeah, normally, you normally you will apply your eye mm -hmm. care first, mm -hmm. like eye care, yeah, yeah, right. serum, and then Yeah, okay, right. Are they good, guys? All right. Mm -hmm. How does it feel? Good. This one, yeah. You didn't, you didn't use it before. Okay, so they just, yeah. And again, even you may incorporate in different treatments, not necessarily just for this one. Let's say when you do um, something for uh, rejuvenating. When you do something for brightening, when you do something for just hydration, when you do this reviving treatment, you may use this serum, and you know, in, in many in many ways, many options. But for glycation, specifically, just remember this one. If you happen to see, happen to have, have someone who is struggling, this in combination with let's say alpha beta retinol brightening drugs will be just great way to um, transform this. Skin into healthier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, have you covered everything from here? It's quite a big line, but if we just look a little bit deeper, we have four masks to go for different skin conditions. We have two different fields 
for thicker and for thinner skin to just summarize. We have two different serums where one will go for more like a sort of um, mature, thin, dry, dehydrated skin, and the other one is more for oily, acneic skin, flame skin. So it's actually pretty easy. And the rest of them, a cleanser can be used on any skin type. Zata cream is really hydrating and calming, balancing and um, night cream, <laughs> which is again for many skin conditions where you want to start, you want to introduce your active ingredients, but you just just one step from to introduce retinol and things like this. So mm -hmm. to balance and then just to go up like, up level. Okay. Mm -hmm. Night cream. Night cream. Oh. So night cream. Uh, the um, just. Yeah. They sold out. Cream? Oh, they sold out. Okay. Oh no, night cream we have. The day cream that sold out. Oh, uh, I might look at it, but I don't see it. Normalizing night cream. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So normalizing night cream. Normalizing night cream again, just because it has. Um, do I have it in here? No. No. Zatar, 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 mother the cream and see. But that's the balancing cream. Do you want me to open this? No. You don't have to. You don't have any things to try. Pardon? Can I try something? Yeah. Yes, uh, yes, yes. You have the uh, balance uh, Can I try? Night cream, you don't have it? They have so many in here. Hold on. I don't want to open this. Night cream? Uh, mask cream. So since we are going to do treatment anyway, Genia, what, what did we open? What can we open? We can open Zata cream. Uh, Zata cream we have no cream, no? I don't see. I might just, I might just need yeah, a fresh. Yeah, okay. I might just need a fresh look and have I start getting balancing. balancing and balancing. Yeah, you guys, you guys go ahead and open those. So uh, normalize it night cream. Mm -hmm. Я бы хотела. А это маску. Маску мы не нам, мы не будем. Маску у нас есть. Нам надо крем. So the uh, balancing cream when you have a dry, flaky, damaged skin, you can't really go with much excess of vitamin C or vitamin A. It has vitamin E to soothe and to calm and to hydrate your skin. It has olive oil, it has shea butter to hydrate, to give these fatty acids to build and restore your skin barrier. It has a little bit of olive oil, yeah, as well. But again, I mean, it's not like olive oil for cooking. It just you know, gives you some extracts from olive oil. Mm -hmm. It has propolis to um, heal and to support your immune system. Um, it has sodium hyaluronate as well to hydrate. Basically, uh, if you want skin feeling more comfortable, you may add retinol to this one, and it will be great. So you may just come. Uh, Mix it with alpha beta retinol brightening drops. Once your skin is feeling more comfortable, once you just you know, overcome this dryness and flakiness and irritations, it just make you go in the system. It has great potential, like great potent ingredients. Um, but add a bit of vitamin A to this one. You normalize yeah. So it says it has salicylic acid promoting exfoliating yeah. of dead skin. Yeah. So we can. This on a mature skin for mature people as an ice cream for them. You may, yes, you may. And with adding a vitamin A, Absolutely, as you said, yeah. that will I would do again. I would, I would, uh, I would do this with alpha beta retinol mm -hmm. brightening drops right. because it has also it will be intensified by alpha hydroxy complex of alpha beta retinol. For mature skin, you need a lot more. Yeah. To speed up the skin cells turnover, right. you want to intensify a bit more. So yeah. Just this, um, because on its own, it's normalizing. Yes. So if you want to go with this one, it will be great. Yes. But if you want to achieve more, alternate with, uh, alternate with yeah. alpha beta retinol yeah. yeah. or any other retinol form. Yeah. Yeah. So for those that has a dry flaky skin, but they have a few acne, like a young yeah, person, which one? If it just, if it, if it just random hormonal acne, yeah, on the dry yeah. skin, on the dry skin, but it's just random from mm -hmm. Go with a spot treatment for acne, and you can use this one to know because again, when you have hormonal acne, but your skin is dry, yeah. 
you have to focus on bringing your skin overall in, 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 into better conditions. Acne, one or two spots of acne is not a major, even though your client can go mad because of it. But you can't focus on two spots and to get them dried and, you know, and, uh, and just peeled or something. No. Focus on overall skin health and skin will be able to reduce this inflammation at some point. Okay. We'll be able to prevent the appearance of those inflammations a lot better. Yeah, but don't focus on two those spots because it's just you know like yeah it's there. No, you can calm it. You can put some spot treatment which has sulfur, salicylic acid, camphor, mint, and stuff like that. But focus on general skin conditions. It is a lot more essential. So that's actually going back to you clients who only come for treatments, but at home use nothing or use some over-the-counter stuff, or use some yeah, Chanel. Is, but yeah. I can't remember which one was it. Oh, yeah. yeah. For Christmas time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did I answer your question? Yes. Yeah, OK. Now, you guys let me know if, if I go a little bit like, woo, too much. Yeah? OK. Questions? You good? OK. Shall we take a break? We'll come back in five minutes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No. Too bad. Uh, okay, I just I need.